Mexican and U.S. authorities recently arrested the top drug lord in the world, Joaquin Guzman, also known as El Chapo. Here's a by-the-numbers look at just how powerful his reign has been. There's one particular area that requires our urgent and coordinated action, and that is the battle that's taking place uh, with, respect, uh, with respect to the drug cartel. Mexican cartels funnel some $30 billion worth of drugs into the U.S. each year. Guzman's Sinaloa cartel, the largest in the world, is reportedly behind 25% of it. At least eight U.S. cities have named him in federal drug trafficking indictments. And in 2013, Chicago branded him public enemy number one, the first time they've labeled anyone that since Al Capone. I'm saying the most dangerous criminal across all crime in the world is Chapo Guzman, and this is one of his hubs. The State Department established a $5 million reward for information leading to his arrest. Even so, over the past 13 years, he built the Sinaloa cartel into a global empire that ran operations on four continents and earned more than $3 billion in annual revenue. Forbes magazine had him on their world's most powerful people rankings. In 2009, he appeared ahead of Presidents Nicolas Sarkozy and Hugo Chavez. Now, with the world's biggest drug kingpin in custody, power likely falls to his number two, Ishmael Zambada, who's been El Chapo's trusted lieutenant for years now. So for U.S. authorities, Guzman's arrest marks the end of an era, but hardly the end of the war.